So scalability, the best way to describe that is to imagine a pie that sits at a table. And uh, right now in the cryptocurrency space, uh, what we have is more and more people sitting around the table, but we don't make the pie any bigger. And as a consequence, everybody gets a smaller and smaller piece of pie of available resources to the network, defined by network bandwidth, data storage, and uh, transaction per second. You're saturating it. And this is a big concern because we want the network to grow to millions of users and billions of users. We would love to see a network designed like a potlatch, where when you hold it, people come and they bring their own food. As a consequence, as people come, you gain more resources. So good networks that actually have real scalability have this characteristic, this feature. So this is one of our design goals with Ouroboros, is that we can rebuild the protocol over time so that as more people enter in, you get actually a higher transaction per second rate. You get a more resilient, robust, and capable network layer, and eventually we'll be able to shard the blockchain that connects to Ouroboros so that as more people come, you gain more data resources without requiring any single person to hold the entire blockchain, which could, if it becomes a multi-asset ledger with billions of users, grow to petabytes or exabytes in size. So it's incredibly important to have this characteristic. All distributed systems require them if they're going to work at scale, or uh, you have to compensate for it with massive amounts of centralization, which is against the philosophy and the design goal of the system. So Cardano is all about how do we achieve scale organically over time.